Montezuma, the time you fucking has come. Are you prepared to face the wrath? And taste the seed of your doom? Hope so, bro. Hope so. Let's do this shit. Montezuma, oh, it's you. Now my day is complete. One final pause for recording. Okay. Your head will look good at the end of the poll, Montezuma. Ruffle, 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 ruffle. See how quickly I did this, folks? You guys can do this, too. Trust me. You can do it. It's in your power. <laughs> you can do this. I've, I've got the faves. Hello. Hello. You want to fucking ninja into my cities and fucking kill, you know, my, my workers and peeps and shit? Go ahead. I don't even care, Montezuma. I don't even fucking care. Whatever you guys think you can fucking execute, go for it. But let it be known, you are fucks. <laughs> there is no question or doubt in my mind, you are fucks. <laughs> there is no hope for your soul. You are fucks. <laughs> the time of your fucking is now. Fucking has come. Ha ha ha. You are doomed. 862 gold gets me to liberalism in three turns. Yeah, sure, we'll live it. Well, you will live already. Why not? Wouldn't be fun if we didn't, right, folks? We gotta get that liberalism so we get that free tech to boost my score. Inflated artificially. L O L O L O L O L O L. <laughs> Who knows? Chariot versus War Chariot? Grimith wins. You are fucked. Ruffle, 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 ruffle. I keep saying that. <laughs> the Temple of Artemis was built in a faraway land. Hmm, if I didn't build it, I wonder who did. Certainly it couldn't be him. <laughs> No, it wouldn't be Montezuma, would it? Yikes. Montezuma's kind of scary there. Unfortunately, his jaguars are kind of prepared for, you know, city attacking. That woodsman one's a promotion they get naturally, so that's not a big deal. It's to be expected, but... Yeah! <laughs> if the enemy does not get pikes, knights will win. If they don't have engineering, I mean... <laughs> longbows? can be kind of deadly, but they're not as frightening as pikes would be. In most cases. There's some cases you can make, like, protective longbows, which would be bad. Yeah, my population really exceeds the domination limit. Are you sure? Are you sure? <laughs> um, let's see here. Go ahead and attack that. I mean, look at that. Raffle skates. I don't feel comfortable attacking with him, though. I'd go ahead and uh, sa sa suicide those units rather than risk losing my... Ooh. Hey, guys! I know, I just moved my, uh, my great general into the open, but come on, man, come on. Those workers! They were so fucking enticing! So fucking juicy! Montezuma will capitulate. Although he refuses to talk, he will capitulate. If given the chance. I don't think I'll give him the chance. Okay. Just go ahead and station those guys there. Mm, leave you behind. Move the rest on with the show. Yeah, this will be a fine place. It is a good day to die. Kill the scout. Uh, automate those bros. Run free! Improve my cities, please. Got to live nationalism on noble difficulty. Lol. Little nooblet. Lol. <laughs> lol, 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 lol. Combat 4. Ooh, that's right. I can move those guys to attack next turn. Go ahead and fortify those guys temporarily in the city. And move my great medic back. Oh my god. The armies, they keep coming. If he's like set on like a little fucking island off continent, I will vassal him. Printing press would probably end up being more beneficial to me in this situation. 
the nationalism despite its lower beaker value. Because I'm sure I have villages and towns by now. So, uh, the monetary, yeah, the monetary value for it is greater. Despite the beaker cost. Okay, that'd be fine. You guys should be able to raffle skate over them, I presume. Okay. Wait, how many units do I lose? Really, my, uh, my war chariots and stuff that I didn't think would attack first, attack first. I kind of thought my knights would attack first. What the hell do I know? Oops, I didn't mean to attack with all those guys, either. <laughs> I thought I selected just one. I'm fucking surprised. What do you fucking know? The game didn't follow the commands I thought it would. Fucking... Oh, shit. Not like it matters. Eh, it does on some deep level. Okay, this group. You, you... Ah, fuck you. That's not what I wanted to do at all. Fine. All of you, then. Just sit there for a turn. It'll be cool. My knights are still around, right? Okay. Oh, I think that's what happened. I I must have upgraded some units and they fucking died. Like I lost my knights. What the fuck, bro? It's not even cool. Nah. I'll keep the religion. It's not even cool, game. Fucking screwing me over like that. Despite superior odds. I could vassal him. Look. He's totally willing to accept capitulation and give me everything forever. Problem. I don't care. <laughs> if, I, if only I would, it would have mercy on me. You want to know all the times Montezuma never had mercy on me, folks? There were some... Uh, what? 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 The fuck? All of you guys can't move? Useless bastards. Can I move you here? No, I won't be able to move any of those guys here. Great, the city will be completely undefended. Oh, I'm so fucking excited now. It's like Merry Motherfucking Christmas. It's okay, guys. We got this. Yay. So, you guys... You guys see now? 1700 and 1900. Nah, you can win. You, you can surely as hell delay your victory. On noble difficulty for that long. You sure as hell can. You can you can elect to play peaceful games. You can do that on fucking immortal difficulty. You can play peaceful games if you really want to. It's just why in this situation, whenever with a clearly you know you can obviously dominate the fucking AI. Just put a little bit of elbow grease into it, folks, and the AI's ass shall be kicked, and it will be good for every fucking buddy. Trust me. I know what I say. Where the fuck are your cities, man? The fuck? <laughs> I will find your cities, and I will kill them. You're making this shit hard. There's no need for you to make this shit that hard. I moved into a forest. That's the fucking problem. I'm a dumbass. And all these fucking motherfucking forests in the goddamn... Is this really necessary? Could you not have chopped these down for me? Come on, bro. You're doing me a disservice. The fuck? How am I supposed to win by 1000 AD? If you make this take another turn over 1000 AD, I will fucking kill you, Mr. Jaguar Man. It will be over for you and all of your kin. I'm good. Wow. I got I got pretty lucky odds there. Wow. I got I got more lucky odds. Wow! I got really lucky odds! <laughs> Fuck your hill! I don't- I still don't want to attack with him. I might have no choice, though. That, that's like my best option. I'd have to attack with him. Damn it! I don't want to attack with those guys, though. Here we go. I'll just stay there and heal for a turn. It'll be okay. So, move you out here. Oh, there's that city. Of course. Aha, I found you now, mortal. You are fucked. I, I, I don't want to attack at like 6% odds. 
be like wasteful. My dudes. It would be, it would be. Can I whip you? No, I cannot. Sorry, bro. I can do this. The day is mine. There is no hope for my opponent. He is fucked. And there we go. Catapult. What do we got? 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 Well, defending my war chariot killed an Aztec catapult. Cool. So, I guess let's go ahead and attack. Not a fan. Here we go. Gotcha. Somebody once told me the world was going to love me. I ain't the sharpest tool in the shed, bitch. Okay. There's guys in there. Uh-oh. I might not win by 1,000 AD after all. Fuck. Running out of time. No! Running out of time. Probably shouldn't have suicided my units like that. Ow! Especially since there was a spearman there. I'm under pressure. To perform. Fuck. Fuck you and your goddamn spears, Montezuma. Ah! <laughs> Just like throwing away units now. <laughs> I got a deadline to meet, Montezuma. <laughs> ah! Why you no comply? <laughs> I do not have that many turns left, goddammit. I could have vassaled him. I could vassal him. At any moment, he'll let me vassal him, folks. So I can do that. I just wanted to see if I could fucking kill him. Completely wipe him off the map. Really? You... What? You really reached out to attack me? You did. With an axe! Dude! Fuck you! <laughs> Fuck your axe! <laughs> Bitch! I don't want to select those guys. I want to select this guy. Sweet. Fuck you. Fuck you. Give me your cities. Okay. Research nationalism. 750 beakers per turn. Yes. <laughs> okay. Actually, you know. Final city over here? No, it is not. He's got two more cities. What? Two cities? Son of a bitch, I think he did settle off continent. <laughs> what? Did he take a barbarian city? <laughs> Montezuma! <laughs> Son of a bitch! He, he must have taken a barbarian city, that's the only explanation. Well, you know, I don't feel bad about that. I can't control that. I can't control him taking a fucking barbarian city. You know, I can't, I, I have no fucking manipulation over that. Clever bastard. Well, I didn't notice it. Well played, Montezuma. I don't know, that, he, he couldn't have said... I mean, I guess he could have sent a settler down there. Whatever. Whatever. <laughs> Whatever, Montezuma. I think you're so funny. Ha 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 ha. Good joke. Will you fucking think? I'm seven times your power level. I don't even need you to win this game. Don't even fucking need you. Yay! And go. Thank you. You know, as soon as these cities came out of revolt, I think I would end up getting my land area after all. I don't need to completely eliminate him, but in this situation, since he is over there, I I don't even have the time or patience anymore. Just give me your tax, bro. We win together. We did it. 920 AD victory. It's a conquest victory. It's fine. We did it.
research detect there at the end. Sure, let's go ahead and open borders, Montezuma. And there you have it. Conquest victory, 920 AD. Not that bad. Not that bad. Could have been better. Fucking Mont... I didn't... I never even checked to see whether that was a fucking, you know, city of his or not. So here's what happened. I started here. Zara, Shaka, Mebid, Napoleon, Surrey, Joao, Montezuma. Montezuma ended up getting walled off, kind of like I did. This game, I don't know. I was really crowded. Napoleon looked like he was the one with the most area to expand. And you see now, if you don't rush out of this peninsula, you get trapped by the Zara. Shaka could end up declaring war on Zara in this situation, but he could also end up declaring war on you. I think a Shaka Zara war would be most likely. And so you end up having to claw your way out of this peninsula, though, and into this middle area. On a higher difficulty, AI would be fucking swarming all over this shit. You do need to rush your way out of that. And with war chariots, you can certainly do that, I mean. War chariots weren't really obsoleted there until later on in the game. <laughs> Towards the end there, where, you know, horse archers were needed. And even then, you could really attack if you build a shit ton of horse archers. You know, instead, I ended up, you know, converting to knights. And knights pretty much took care of that shit for me there at the end. So that's that. That was it, a noble, with a, a very powerful start that I didn't have to re-roll, which I was planning on doing. Ended up grabbing two wonders there, and you know, I grabbed others too, and quickly just continued to map up the rest of the map. That was a barbarian city. He fucking took a barbarian city. Montezuma and his fucking hideout. Clever bastard. <laughs> but it's still fun to make Montezuma a vassal. Certainly not disappointed. You can see what I built here. Most of what I built, well, most current were workers. I built a lot of war chariots. I killed a lot of units. That's, what, 100 units there, easily? Losses there towards the end. When I could have vassaled my remaining opponents and elected not to, I could have sustained far fewer losses. Built the most libraries and courthouses. Had the most mines, farms, and villages. Score. Woot, on noble difficulty. That's easily my highest score. That thumps my conquest as fucking Wynika Pak in the first ever game I recorded the Civilization for. 920 AD. Not bad. So yeah, let's take a look at that. Clever son of a bitch. God damn it, Montezuma. <laughs> And, you know, during along the way, because it's noble difficulty, you saw how easy it was for me to afford my research there. I mean, sure, this early game land certainly helped, but I never even bothered to build the city to pick up the gems. I just kept steamrolling. That's all I needed to do. And I fucking train wrecked this land. And I would have won land area easily. I wouldn't have needed to mop over the last few AI. That takes care of it, though. Dead, 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 dead. There you fucking have it. So I hope you folks enjoyed the show. I hope I fulfilled the request of Memmi999 and anyone else who watched along the way. I hope you learned something more. There's no need to be afraid of the game on Noble Difficulty or Prince. Uh, those At that point of the game, during those difficulties up until Monarch, you basically need to understand how tiles work. You understand how your tiles work and how you can turn those to your advantage. It's a cinch to take out the AI. Once you reach the Monarch difficulty, you need to have a better understanding of the game. How to manipulate AI uh, diplomacy, what text to go after, how to best respond to situations that you can skate by below Monarch. And as you graduate to Emperor and Immortal, you really need to understand the processes which only come through being subjugated to multiple situations. By constantly playing games, you uh, get a better feel for what you should do at any given moment. Now, you know, the AI in this game is pretty weak. Meh. Nah. There are mods to fix that. There's that BTS Better AI mod. Eh, whatever. Is I going to link something in this video? I've already forgotten. Whatever. Maybe the Voltron education topic. There we go. Anyway, folks, that takes care of that. That was only two 
hours and some change. Not a big deal. Wasn't the most exciting thing I've ever done, but eh, I took the edge off Civ 4. <sighs> Good times. Alright, everyone. I'm out. TTYL LOL. Bye.